Welcome to Riding the Edge. It's come to my attention that most people come to my channel for for uh, a few affinity photo videos that I've done. So in an effort to provide content that they might find useful, I thought I might try something different today. Now, I'm just a photographer who wanted to try Affinity Photo to see if it was something I could use to replace Photoshop for editing my images. I haven't been I haven't even been using Affinity Photo for a year yet, so I wouldn't consider myself an expert by any means. So that's why I haven't really done a whole lot of Affinity Photo videos. But what I can bring is the perspective of someone who has worked as a professional photographer for 25 years in a daily environment of uh, deadlines, rigorous deadlines, um, someone who's processed thousands of images before digital developed thousands of rolls of film. So instead of copying a bunch of online tutorials, kind of regurgitating them, Instead, I thought I would try something a little different. What I'm going to do is take uh, a random image, something from my files, maybe something I've taken this week or in the past, and give myself five minutes in Affinity Photo with that image to see how much I can see what I can come up with in the five minutes. Um, I might finish the image or I might not. It just depends on how complicated the image is. I will only be using Affinity Photo. I won't be jumping into any plugins. This is purely about Affinity Photo. I'm still trying to iron out some of the logistics of this video format. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a voiceover to the editing that, I, that I've done or actually do it live and talk while I'm actually editing the video, which I find extremely difficult. I find it quite hard to talk and edit especially edit quickly at the same time. So in this first, in this first video, uh, I'll, I'll uh, probably just go ahead and wing it and uh, we'll probably, we'll give it a shot. We'll, uh, we'll talk as we go on this one and see what happens. This is the, in this first edition, this will this video is going to be a little bit on the longer side, but I'm hoping that this process allows me to make some shorter videos. Of, of, of content that might be of interest to the people that are coming to my channel. So let me know in the comments below if you've found any value in peeking over my shoulder, so to speak, to see how I uh, work on these images and what and what aspects of the of software I'm using. If, if there's if no one's really getting anything out of it, there's really no sense in me doing these uh, these videos because really editing photography is my least favorite part of photography. So get your grab your beverage. Got one queued up now. Let's let's jump into it. Let's start the timer. Here we go. All right, we're in the raw persona. Got lighten it a little here. Some vibrance. Five minutes is not a lot of time. In a photo like this where it's fairly even light, it was a cloudy day, I don't really think I need overlays. I can control the highlights pretty well with the slider here with global adjustments. Lighten it just a little bit. Looks pretty good. Details. Since this is a raw file, we're going to add a little sharpening and a little noise reduction. Looks pretty well, it's pretty even, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this develop it. We're sending this now to the photo persona. No time to waste. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's a good time to uh, have a faster computer. I think I have a program going on in the background too, which doesn't help. All right, we're gonna start out by just doing a real Tidying up here, just a little bit of a crop. I 
can't take the stress. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna do some adjustments here. Let's go to the brightness contrast. So I'm gonna brighten it up just a little more, a little contrast. It's already starting to take shape. Looks pretty good. Let's go to the levels. Set the black and white points here. If you hold down the option key, you can see where the blacks are. And then you do the same thing for the whites. You can see it pop in and out there. I'm gonna blow out the whites, but no right where to start. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's check it in history. Well, that's a little bit of improvement. Let's add some saturation. That'd be a HSL adjustment. Give it a little more vibrance. Running out of time. Color balance, let's see here. Still looks a little on the yellow side. Looks pretty good. Make sure I'm in the background layer. I'm gonna do a quick, quick dodge right here on this shelf. See if we can bring out that just a little bit more. All right, maybe a slight burn. The corners, just a little vignette. Looks pretty good. I can add a border to this. Why not? Let's flatten the document. Come on. <laughs> Not a lot of time here. Like five minutes is, a, is enough. Resize canvas. Luckily I've done this a hundred times. Do the math in my head, hopefully it's right. Fill layer, the layers, let's drag it behind, boom, okay. That looks, that looks pretty good. We're running out of time. Three. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Okay. All right. Five minutes. That's five minutes with Affinity Photo. I could have. I can certainly use some more time on this one. But there are a lot of images that I have that I could work on all day. I could come back this tomorrow, work on it, come back again the next day, and still probably not be happy with it. But. Uh, it's pretty well balanced, kind of a nice color. Autumn shot here. Well, hopefully peeking over my shoulder as if has been of some use to you. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.